suspected kidnappers. On a live, two residents abduct one in Lagos as police begin probe. It was gathered that the gunmen also kidnapped a year to be identified woman during the attack that occurred around 11 a.m. on Wednesday in the Alagemo community of Igbelara of Ijede Road in Ikrudu. Gunmen supported, suspected brother to be kidnappers have attacked the Ikrudu area of Lagos State and unalived two persons identified as 59-year-old Suru Arije and 30-year-old Ilufoye Aziz. It was also gathered that the gunmen also kidnapped a yet to be identified woman during the attack that occurred around 11 a.m. on Wednesday in the Lagemo community of Igbelara of Ijeda Road in Ikorodu. Police also said that four vigilante members were injured during the attack but noted that the police had begun investigation into the incident. Also, a resident who spoke on condition of anonymity said that she learned about the incident when in our community WhatsApp group. I discovered that people started asking if people at Igbelera were safe. After asking around, we learned that gunmen attacked the area and unalived two people and also kidnapped some persons. It happened at Alagemo, which is part of the Igbelera Ijede in Igorudu. In a video obtained, a male voice was heard raising the alarm about the incident. The yet to be identified male disclosed that the incident had just happened. The voice was quoted as saying, kidnapping is happening right now in Igbe, Elagimo. What is all this? They have kidnapped two people that are in the bush. They are the ones shooting. And what indicated what the abducted victim was a female visitor in the area, the male adult was heard asking the motorcycle rider if she knew whom the victim could have come to visit in the area. The bike man who confirmed that he brought the woman to the community said he knew who she visited. The Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer Benjamin Hundey, who confirmed the incident on Thursday, said that the incident took place around 11 a.m. in the area. The police spokesperson said it happened around 11 a.m. Two persons died, four others were injured, and one woman was kidnapped. Adding that the injured persons were responding to treatment at the clinic. Hundey added, he hasn't commenced we have commenced an investigation into the incident. We are on it. Now, first of all, I keep saying it. We will continue to hear such news until the government stand up and do something about the national threat to insecurity. You know why I'm going to say yes, this particular Ikorodu is, uh, Ikorodu is Ikorodu Lagos. It's an area in Lagos State. Do you understand? Okay. Now, let me say this. Unless the government comes out and stamps its foot and says, do you know what? No more, you know, they are no more using kid hands. And you don't need to say it. We see it with your actions. You catch anybody that did anything. You send the person to their creator. You help them schedule a meeting or should I say schedule a meeting for both the creator and the creative to meet. Mm -hmm. Good. I mean, the creator and the creation. By the time you do it, one person, two person, three persons, first group, second group, third group. Uh uh. This will be say, bless the government, they don't mean us for this place, so make we find our way. They go to another community, it is done to them. They go to another. There was once upon a time, this particular crime was very, very rampant in Nigeria. They did something, and before you know it, it stopped. That thing that they did then that made it stop, they should employ it now. Yes. People are hiding under the umbrella of there is crime already. If you do this thing, they will not know. They will think that. And if you, if you watch the situation very well, I think this is also an inside job. Because if they kidnap somebody in an environment that is not known to her, it means they have actually been following her. It means somebody has snitched. So this is an inside job. I wonder what in man go gain. Man, you want humanity to man. Eh? The heart of man is dangerously, eh? Is dangerously, is a dangerous place. Because if you look at it now, somebody goes to a place, and in that community, I don't think they have actually, you know, heard anything of that before. <clears throat> because it is very difficult for me to believe it is in, she's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Very, very difficult. No matter how I look at it, it is very difficult for me to agree. So far in that community, we, they have not heard before that, ah, 
they are doing this is what they are doing oh. because if they have said it uh, and it, if you check it it happened by 11 a.m in the full blood daylight as in full glare everybody's around that means number one is either that area is very quiet that's by that period in the morning they've said okay if we trace her okay she's going to this place if we trace her to this place this is what is going to happen police should take put on their thinking caps people wear this psychology maybe they're supposed to be help for this kind of they are detective they should put on their thinking caps that people who can actually think and before you know it they will search for it but the thing is what is going to be done to these people when they are caught i i say again it is see the best thing for this thing to stop happening is when there is actually a, a punishment i don't mean the punishment that they are going to be going to the court and be wasting time and be saying my lord may i my my, my yes my lord may i my lord my lord mm -mm. you've catch somebody that committed a crime had committed murder in the in carrying out that crime please send the person to his creator that is it that is it by the time you do it, it becomes a thing. And as you do it, you announce it. Uh -huh. Very good. So far, that person is actually, as in, it is done. Or they, they saw, saw the person. It's not that, you know, it, when the, there was a time when this thing was rampant. And before you know it, uh, when, when even stealing was very rampant. And before you know it, they do what, what they call it. They lynch people. They end up lynching the wrong people. As in, they lynch. In fact, in cases they lynch the the person self the the person that was robbed so it should be carefully done you don't find out okay now these people now they commit this thing they are sure like not 99 100 percent sure then they do what they make sure that they do they deal with them nothing like tell them to the police station so that they can now start talking about okay how much the uh -uh. no no room for that no room for that. By the time they do it, once or twice, because nobody is safe. And in this country, they are not going to legalize them anytime soon. I said they want us to be okay. Everybody protect yourself. So that if you get to the point where you have to, at least you'll be able to protect yourself. This is this is no longer. I'm not speaking from a kind or a. Uh, this is not a matter of a nice. No, this is what people have to do to survive. The governments must be able to take action that is going to ensure the safety of lives and properties and also not just lives and properties the welfare of the people they must put it into consideration nowhere is safe abc has finished nigeria mm -hmm. hmm. okay kid kidnapping is in every corner of the country nowhere is safe it is because the government has permitted it if the government start doing something about it i kid you not you heard you barely hear any news about it. It's going to be it's going to disappear in no distant time. But right on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy. <laughs>